Have you ever wondered how some people seem to just breeze through life without ever really worrying about money? Even if they don't have a lot or they just have what they need, they don't ever seem to be in a state of panic. Well, there's actually a possible explanation for this. And the truth is, some people who never worry about money, some of them have certain habits and mindsets that set them apart, and a lot of them don't even realize it. For example, many of them see money as a tool and not the goal. So for some of these people, money is just the means to an end and not the end itself. Now this perspective in no way downplays its importance because after all, money is essential for meeting life's needs and goals. However, it does allow them to approach their finances with balance. So they're comfortable spending when it serves a purpose, but they're just as intentional about holding on to it when it doesn't. So if their income is steady or higher than expected, they're comfortable and perfectly okay using money to fulfill their needs and wants, whether that's upgrading their living space when needed, traveling, or simply enjoying experiences. But when there's a change in their circumstances, whether that's a drop in income or unexpected expenses, they don't panic. What they're gonna do instead is spring into action and quickly adjust their spending habits so that it matches their new reality. They're not afraid to say no or make tough decisions or even admit when something isn't in their budget. And it's really this type of flexibility with their spending and saving that sets them apart. So during times when they know that their income might be lower, they'll make a conscious decision to scale back, to prioritize essentials, and to cut back on discretionary spending. And they don't see this as deprivation or defeat, but rather as a temporary adjustment that can help them maintain balance and stay on track. Some people who also never stress about money grew up seeing money managed calmly. A huge often overlooked factor is upbringing, and some people don't realize just how much their financial habits are shaped by the tone that their parents set. For example, if someone grew up in a household where even minor affordable purchases were followed by complaints or a sense of stress, they may adopt a similar anxiety about spending. However, for some who never seem to worry about money, there might have been a different tone when they were growing up and they might have witnessed their parents handle money calmly even when it was difficult. And when a person grows up seeing this, it can help instill a sense of confidence around finances. And because they saw money managed and not fear, as they become adults, they might approach their finances with the same type of calmness. Another subtle but powerful habit of financially calm people is their ability to detach from status symbols and the opinions of others. So they aren't interested in always buying the latest tech or luxuries just to show off. So for them, it's not about outward appearances. It's about their genuine need and their interests. And of course, this doesn't mean that they don't own or buy nice things, but when they do, they're doing it for themselves and not to impress others. And one way to really know where you stand with this is to ask yourself, if no one ever saw this item, would I still want it? And be honest with yourself. Because if the answer is no and you wouldn't buy it, it might be time to reevaluate your purchases and figure out why you're so concerned with impressing others or maintaining a certain image. It can be really eye-opening to realize how often you make purchases based on what other people think. But awareness is good because once you fully understand your habits, you can then start making decisions that better reflect your goals. People who don't always stress about money also know how to strike a balance between self-confidence and a willingness to learn. So even though they might trust their ability to manage money, they're also not afraid to get help. And it's this habit that keeps them both grounded and adaptable. Because even though they're confident to handle many everyday financial decisions on their own, they also aren't above getting professional advice. They understand that managing money is an ongoing process that involves a lot of learning. And with that understanding, instead of viewing their financial mistakes as failures, they see them as opportunities to learn and grow. And finally, some people don't worry about money because they've mastered the concept of enough. These people are very self-aware, so they know what they need in order to feel confident, secured, and fulfilled. And they're not constantly looking for more to satisfy fleeting desires. Now, this doesn't mean that they lack ambition or that they're not reaching out toward bigger goals. Rather, it means that they are satisfied with what they have, which allows them to live without constant financial pressure. This type of thinking can give them a deeper sense of contentment, which keeps them from overspending or taking on risk that might jeopardize their financial health. And in the end, they're able to enjoy what they have and find happiness in experiences and relationships rather than material possessions, which can create a foundation for long-term stability. And so that we're all on the same page, having enough isn't about settling. It's about finding value in the present while making intentional, meaningful moves toward their future goals.